What is going on YouTube? Head back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to USD. We will also be discussing the very interesting pattern that is forming within Litecoin right now as we get stuck within a channel that could be breaking bullish in the near future. If any of that sounds interesting and you are invested into cryptocurrency or would like to be, definitely make sure to subscribe and watch the video to the end. Also, make sure to join the post notifications club and let's move on to the rest of the video. So guys, in today's episode, briefly, we're going to be discussing this very interesting pattern that's forming. As you guys can see, as I zoom in on Litecoin, you'll notice that there is a very interesting channel that is trading out quite nicely in the past couple of weeks. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 days now, almost two weeks of this sideways trading, very low volume and very low on the RSI. There's a couple other key indicators that I'd like to point out in a second, but before we do that, I would like to jump onto the current coin market cap, kind of dissect what we're seeing right now, and then we'll go back into the charting. So. Some key takeaways right now is you'll notice the past couple days, a seven day price graph has shown that on Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, majority of the top 10 cryptos have been trading sideways. This is all sideways movement with zero volume. And this is very interesting and unique. We don't normally see this many days of sideways trading and that usually gives us benefit of the doubt that there is a major break coming. Usually volume comes pretty hard on these sideways volatility and the sideways movements. Now another key thing to point out is we are semi low on the RSI or sorry on the uh, change in the 24 hour graphs. We're down about one to two percent. Nothing too crazy, nothing to be too worried about. And you can notice that Bitcoin is hanging on to the $8,000 price range and Litecoin is hanging on to about $55. Now, before I jump into the charting, I want to give a huge shout out to Bitmins for sponsoring today's episode, guys. For those of you who don't know, Bitmins is an awesome website that did reach out to me to partner. Basically, they're a luxury digital, digital collectibles account where you guys can buy, sell, trade awesome cryptocurrency backed or blockchain backed items that are fairly unique. They're basically a ton of different bitmins or bit diamonds however you want to consider that which you can see right here so what that means is that bitmins is a digital as you can see status symbol based on blockchain check technology and it's represented by a digital diamond which you can wear on a you know smartwatch as well so for every bitmin uh that you have it's unique because you generate it on a basis of personal data it can be bought sold or gifted and its value increases over time like any traditional luxury item which i can show you guys in a second too that i have actually purchased bitmins myself uh back when i first started to partner with them back in february and they've grown substantially five to seven hundred percent since i've owned them and it's very easy to sell them and make money on them too so it's something to consider and also as you can see uh the lower numbering or higher pureness of your Bitmins will, you know, get you advantages. So another thing I wanted to say about Bitmins is the fact that they're offering a referral program, which I thought would be pretty interesting. For those of you who aren't ready yet to jump the gun and buy into uh, Bitmins, you can actually receive a Bitmin by inviting five of your friends to, uh, to the account. Uh, basically on your dashboard, you can get a referral link that you send via email or text message. Get five people to invest into Bitmins, either buying a Bitmin or somehow purchasing a Bitmin and you guys will be re rewarded with Bitmins yourself. So I highly recommend you check that out. Otherwise, I want to give a huge shout out to Bitmins for sponsoring today's episode and let's jump right into that technical analysis. So guys, a couple of things I want to point out right now. Um, as we dissect Bitcoin and Litecoin, it does show some signs of possible possible, you know, uptrends and possible breakouts. So when I first look at Bitcoin's chart today, I noticed that we were dipping below a huge support at $8,000. And I got quite nervous, to be honest with you guys. I'm sure a lot of you guys did too. But I want to give some benefit of the doubt that we may be able to retrace back inside or recede back inside our support right here. Notice that the past couple of days we have broken below here. Uh, we were able to retrace back or recede back into the support right here. So this this isn't necessarily a problem yet, but as come tomorrow, if we're still below this $8,000 support, 
then we need to worry about us retracing to lower levels. So as of right now, let's see how this plays out. We may be able to recede back up here and it may cost us another wick. And then we could inevitably just continue to trade out sideways because I'm still betting and I'm not a gambling man, but I'm still betting that we may be able to retrace back up here and complete the major descending triangle that is on you know, Bitcoin right now. Now to swing over to Litecoin, why Bitcoin doesn't scare me is due to the fact that Bit, uh, Litecoin is trading within a major support channel that it has right now. Currently, you'll notice, yes, we are. Uh, there's a lot of things that show that we could swing to the upside. You know, the fact that we broke bearish uh, a couple of days ago, the fact that we are below the Fibonacci, we're below the high low MMA, we're about to be oversold on Litecoin's RSI, and the fact that we have very low high low uh, volume does give us indications that a bullish breakout is definitely in the works uh, about I'd say 60 40 right now uh, odds that we break bullish. But notice and take away that we have been in this channel before. Right here back in March, we've been able to break out of that to the upside. We were trading in it here back in September of 2018 even farther back to October of 2017, we managed to get stuck in here for quite some time. And then we broke bullish and saw our major, you know, spurt of volume. So this definitely holds a lot of value and it holds a lot of support. So I'm not necessarily worried yet. The fact that we really don't have much more room to go lower uh, gives me cons uh, support and uh, relief that we may be stuck at 53 and we may not head lower. And then eventually we could start to swing back up. For the most part, you have to consider that we did break bearish just a few days ago and fell to a lower level, inevitably sending us into the oversold market and opening up the possibilities that we may be able to swing back up and retest the high low MMA and the Fibonacci levels very soon. Now, for those of you that plan on getting involved in crypto or buying Bitcoin or Litecoin very, uh, very soon, I would take this into consideration. We are still in a bear market and there is still room for us to head lower. So in the fact that we do break bullish and head up to the Fibonacci levels, which could be like this, be aware that there may be a retracement following it very soon after. That's the main takeaway that I want you guys to be aware of, that we may see a short-term rally, but then followed by a bearish uh, attempt to fall lower. So that's something to consider. Now, moving on to Ethereum, you can see Ethereum broke bearish from its small uptrend it's had within its daily charts. This was something I threw on just to see whether or not it was going to continue to head up. Obviously, it broke bearish. I wasn't thinking it was going to hold support very well, but I wanted to throw that on there just to see. Um, usually, as we extend the charts further, looking at the daily to eventually the weekly, we be able to gain, you know, lines that are drawn on the weekly hold more value than ones on the daily. So you can see that, you know, charts like this, this downtrend had this downtrend held very well. You'll notice on the weekly on Ethereum, we were able to retest the Fibonacci levels and the high low MMA, and we got rejected from there and fell to lower levels. I also wanna show you guys XRP, which uh, is very interesting in the fact that I do think there is a major descending wedge falling on here. You can see the way this is forming, and you'll notice this is definitely major support. We have one, two, three, four, five tests of support, and the uptrend right here does hold two tests of resistance. You'll notice there also is a major resistance line at around 25 cents, which has been hovering uh, along the market for quite some time now, I'd say ever since the August or end of August. And you'll notice that we're getting stuck right here. So there's a good chance that the market can break bearish once again. We may see retestment and we may fall lower. This will be a huge you know, benefactor at around the 25th of October, which is coming up fairly soon, where we may be able to break bullish. This will be our third you know, confirmation of the downtrend, uh, the descending wedge, the downwards pressure. And then this is the biggest uh, indicator that if we, mad, uh, we might be able to break through, and if we do, this is the weakest link right now. If we can break through here, because there's less support, because we only have two confirmations, we may be able to break through. If indeed this uh, retest we fall lower, we're definitely going to be in for a wild ride as we head lower down to, towards 17 cents, if not lower. But as for Bitcoin and Litecoin, you know, there is room for Bitcoin to head lower in the long term. That's what I want to point out. When we look at things like this, Bitcoin on its weekly does have room to fall to lower levels. Extending this up, you can see what exactly I'm referring to. And this could inevitably be the biggest, you know, 
symmetrical triangle of them all. When we look at things like the weekly, check this out now. So now we have an uptrend like this right here and a downtrend like this. So we may get hugged into here. We could have, you know, support as low as $6,800, you know, on the weekly and long-term sense, and we may still have a major resistance. This is something to consider when investing in Bitcoin. We may have hit the top, and now we're starting to consolidate back down. So a long-term, you know, approach is I think we're still in a bear market. And I still think there is opportunities to make money in this bear market, but you have to be mindful that there is still an uptrend. There is still an uptrend. We may be able to break bullish, but this doesn't end until you know 2019. So there is hope that in 2020, we may be able to see higher prices and higher moves. But for the most part, you can see this major downtrend that we're in. And for the short term, we may see a swing to the upside, but this may be followed by a bearish turn. So sorry that that was somewhat all over the place. It's a lot of information and there's a lot of cryptocurrencies doing different things. But like I said, uh, to sum this up and make it short and sweet, Litecoin looks like it wants to head back up. It looks like it might want to make a small jump about a, let's see, 20% gain, no, a 40% gain, but then immediately followed by retracement to lower levels. So be very careful when investing in these coins, guys. Um, I'm no financial advisor, but that is my you know, analysis. Otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Once again, huge shout out to Bitmans for sponsoring today's episode. Peace. <laughs>